Okay, here we see Conway's game of life represented on our 12 by 12 array of ping pong balls where each ping pong ball has got a tricolored LED in it. Uh, we have two of the glider shapes which transition their way across the array. One is heading southeast, one is heading southwest. The way we create an our array is that the universe wraps around. So if a glider transitions off the right hand side, it reappears on the left hand side. And if it transitions off the bottom of the array, it reappears on the top. I should note that this is the second time I've taken all of these videos because uh, originally I was running at 100% brightness and it just overwhelmed the camera, it saturated everything. And so after a lot of experiments we got down to 5%. So this is a very low level indeed. In the real world when they're running at 100% it's incredibly bright and incredibly colourful. So what we're doing in this first experiment uh, is we're just showing the generations, no intergenerational effects. So if a cell is alive, green, it stays green. If a cell is going to die, it turns full off. And if a cell is coming to life, it just turns full on. And the results, uh, we can see what happens fairly easily, but it's still a bit clunky. It's going clunk, 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 clunk from one state to the next. Uh, not quite as sophisticated as we would like. So here we see a slight modification to our previous program. And in this case, if a cell is alive but it's going to die, we just gradually fade it down from green to black. And if a cell is dead but it's going to come to life, we gradually fade it up from black to green. Uh, if it's going to stay dead, it stays black. If it's going to stay alive, it stays green. So we're conveying a little bit more information as to the intergenerational state. Uh, and the overall transition is a little bit smoother. Okay. And here is our third incarnation of the program. And in this case, we're displaying a lot more intergenerational information because we're using different colors to represent the different intergenerational states. If a cell is alive and it's going to stay alive, we transition from green to cyan and then from cyan back to green again. If a cell is alive and it's going to die, we transition from green to red and then red to black. And if a cell is dead but it's going to come to life, we transition from black to yellow and then yellow to green. And this helps us uh, see how the array is evolving. We could slow things right down. Uh, we could take a series of images, still images, showing the different states. And this really helps us to understand how different patterns evolve and merge and uh, grow or fade away and die.